Good day, beautiful souls. This is Isis. Today, I got to listen to some so-called preacher state the following. Second Timothy 2.12, which was written by none other than beautiful Paul. And he says, and I quote, a woman should not be the teacher of a man, nor have any authority over a man. And they should be in utter silence, unquote. Isn't that just beautiful? Oh, thank you, Apostle Paul. Really, I do wonder who he was working for. So, let's review, shall we? Um, there's not one prophet from the offspring of Ibrahim, Abraham, who ever said the women are beneath the man. And prior to Abraham, I do believe Adam followed his beautiful wife Eve through the valley of death, so to speak, because he knew good and well he was better off with her than without her. So anyone who's trying to play off that men have superiority over women is a sick dog. So I'm going to quote to you something from uh, another holy book and it is about ants. Uh, I, I really love insects, ants and bees and all kinds of insects. They are beautiful, no, just noble creatures. So please bear with me on my enunciation in the Arabic language. It's a bit not so good, so sorry about it. Suleiman heard her. Who? Heard her. And she said, Oh, ants, the King Suleiman and his armies are coming before us. Please enter your dwellings before they trample us by error because they are unaware of our whereabouts. Now what is fascinating is ants are now known to be female. They are also known to be one of the greatest of creatures on the planet Earth. They have language, like very sophisticated language. They sell and they buy in little marketplaces. Ants bury their dead. They have graveyards. So that's really fascinating, I believe, about such a small creature whom we can just dismiss completely. And yet they are more noble than some humans. So note, the creator of all things did not make a male superior to a female, nor did he make a female superior to a male. He simply made the dynamics of yin and yang. He made that it is split of the masculine and feminine. And the feminine has its role and the masculine has its role and each creature has its role. So note, who are you? You are a human creature. You are neither an ant nor are you a bee. However, understand the beauty of the feminine and do not let it 
go and release it because your feminine is what makes you beautiful as a woman. And if you are a man, do not release the masculine because the masculine is what makes you worthy and noble for the feminine. What about your mother? You see, there was a grand and mighty chief of a tribe. One of his people came to him and they said, Dear sir, to whom is it that I give my respect and my honor to? Besides yourself and of course the great I am. And he said, Oh, my noble servant, you should give your love and respect to your mother. And secondly, it should be your mother. And thirdly, it should be your mother. Because who used to hold you and clean you and clothe you? Who used to be there and always take care of you? When you are sick, who stayed up at night? Who held you tight when you needed someone? None other than your mother. So today, reach out and remember your mother. I know it is Father's Day. Sorry, dads. <laughs> you guys are totally worth it. But always remember your mother. If you haven't talked to her for a long time, just call her up and say, hey, mom, I love you. You're wonderful and thank you so much because you just don't know when the Archangel Azrael has got the name of your beautiful relatives upon his list and you want them to always know what they mean to you. You want those whom you love and those whom are dearest to your heart to always know what they mean to you at all times or Perhaps you do not care for them because at the time when they're taken, you will not have that opportunity again in this 3D world. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I wish you all a beautiful day.